Given all praises on a glory be unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Raka Kodash. Honors unto the elders, apostles, of great moonstone, elders on down, salutations so to you since you came out there. We are lifting up the banner and preaching the gospel of repentance to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which are you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and your descendants among the nations scattered. And by the word of the Holy One, our pure minds have been stirred by the way of remembrance. <sighs> Saving our Bashim Yahusha with fear and trembling. Judges 5 and 11 says uh, we're going to be rehearsing these righteous acts, but clearly our UIC has not received the memo that these laws abide forever, for as long as a man liveth that is under the law. But through the bloodshed of Yahusha, we are under grace so that we could be afforded the opportunity to rehearse, to rehearse these righteous acts because we no longer can we can never be justified by the works of the law but we can only keep them to the best of our ability as much as we can and the and the energy and the vibration being pushed by iuic is that no man to hell with the law keep the laws as best as you, as you think you can keep them not as for not as, as best as you can keep them, but keep the laws according as as you are, as how you would have loved to keep them. That's the energy which they bring in now. Isaiah fifty eight talking about sex on the Sabbath is, is lawful. This is Isaiah chapter chapter fifty eight and verse thirteen. Okay, let's go to it. Isaiah fifty eight and verse thirteen. If thou turn away thy foot. Uh, from the Sabbath, from doing my pleasure on my holy day, and and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord Yahweh Shmuel honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thy own ways, nor fi nor finding thy own, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking than own words and that is exactly what IUIC is speaking the, you are speaking your own words against the commandments of Yahweh in Exodus 20 and the law says remember the Sabbath and keep it holy in fact let's go to Exodus 20 because right, now you guys you speaking your own words Uh, this is uh, Exodus chapter 20. And uh, what's going on here? Exodus chapter 20 in verse 7. Is it 8? Exodus chapter 20. Verse 8 says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But on the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy power. In it thou shalt not do no work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy servant, nor thy men servant, nor thy maid servant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is in, within thy gates. For in six days the Lord have made the heaven and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested, rested on the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the seventh day and hallowed it. Now let's go back to Isaiah 58 and verse 13 says, If thou turn away thy, thy foot, all right, in seven days is it, when you go to the timeline of the Heavenly Father, equals to 7,000 years. Each year is e equals to 1,000 years. All right, not a literal 24 7 cycle that we have on earth. All right, Isaiah 58 and verse 13. If thou turn away thy foot from, from the Sabbath, from doing my pleasure, from from do uh, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day and call the Sabbath the delight of the Holy Lord honorable and shall honor him nor that nor doing thy <clears throat> thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thy own words. You guys you speaking your own words. We're supposed to honor the Sabbath. It tells you that specifically you're not supposed to even to do your own pleasure. Now you guys saying, you know what? 
you guys are using this own the scriptures not so to, to you're using this as if you've taken verse 18 to forbid having sex on the sabbath guess what let's look up this word pleasure all right Hapatiza, uh, Hapatiza, Hapatiza, uh, Strong's Age, I don't know the number of it. Uh, Strong's Age, uh, 2654, Hapatiza, uh, is it, let me see. Yep, Hapatiza, uh, it says delight, pleasure, delight, desire, uh, longing, the good pleasure that is which one delight that you're gonna take uh make a fucking excuse you know what i'm personally i i i take pleasure i enjoy uh, uh ice cream or do you say chocolates something to, into those lines guess what man don't tell me you don't act as if you don't enjoy having sex if you don't enjoy having sex and sex is not part of uh, you don't take delight and pleasure and 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 sex to you and it's not part of of pleasure to you well then just don't do it either way, man. All right, just don't do it. Are you going? Who are you telling me that you you're not having you're not having any f form of pleasure in in having sex? Then there's something there's something fucking wrong with you, man. All right, there's something wrong with you. It is part of that delight, that part part of that that pleasure, which the Lord created for the enjoyment of men. But every everything has its own time and its own season. And on the Sabbath, you abstain. You abstain from it, from having sex. All right, you abstain from from sexual intercourse. All right, it says uh, delight, pleasure, delight, desire, longing, the good pleasure. And, it's, and sex is one head of a good pleasure. All right, it's one of the physical good pleasure between man and woman. All right. Now, let's let's do this. All right, let's just let's go let's go to Matthew. I think, I think I'm gonna go to Mark second chapter. Uh this uh, let me see this uh, all right, Mark chapter two verse twenty twenty three. And he came twenty three. He says, and it came to pass that they went through the corn fields on the Sabbath day, and his disciples began. And they and uh, and they went and plucked the ears of, of the corn. And the Pharisees said unto them, Behold, why do they on a Sabbath do that which is not lawful? Because in the eyes of the wicked, wicked scribes and Pharisees, it seemed to be to them like it was an unlawful thing to do. All right. But remember, we, the Lord says, you rest on a Sabbath and you keep it holy. Because the Lord rested on the seventh day. Or Isaiah 58 and verse 18, if further says, you're not supposed to do anything that which is within your pleasure. And sex is part of the pleasure. You doing your work is also part of it that you're not supposed to do work anyway. You're supposed to rest. But going back to, to, to put things into perspective, the balancing of things out. If you're going to have to, you have, you're going to be working in uh, you're going to be on, on duty on work you, if if it's a situation that you can't use that is out of your control hey that's let it let, let it be between you and the most high and pray for it all right that you that you'll be able to keep the sabbath and you try it by all means to keep the sabbath of yahba shimi all right it says, and the Pharisees said unto them, Behold, what do, do, uh, why do they on the Sabbath they do that which is, which is not lawful? And guess what? These men were hungry, man. All right. These men, they were hungry. All right. They were hungry. And this is what, this, let's go to this verse 26. How, let me see, verse 26. How, how he went into the it's like verse 25 and he said unto them this this yet the response from Yahweh says have we never says have ye never read what david did when he had need when he had need and he so he, if you would if you have there's a need for you to to, to be on duty to be on, uh, on work you're just going to have to do it and pray over it there's no other thing hey, we are under grace 
or Judges 5 and 11, that's part of the grace, rehearsing his righteous acts. If, if there is a need for you to be out there on a plantation to be working, so be it. If not, hey, you keep it to the best of your ability as much as possible. You go, you make sure that you you keep the Sabbath. Ju no judges, like Mark chapter 2 verse 25. And he said unto them, have you never read what David did? When he had need, and that's the thing, when he had need and was and hungered, he and, and they that were with him, how he went into the house of, of the Most High. In the days of Abiathar, the high priest, and did eat of the show bread, which is not lawful to eat, but for the priest, and gave also to them which were with him. And he said unto them, The Sabbath was was made for man, not for the man for the Sabbath, or not man for the Sabbath. For the Son of Man also, for the Son of Man is also uh, of the like for the Son of Man is Lord also. Of the Sabbath, hey, all dominion power has been given unto Yahusha. So even the Sabbath, Yahusha, he mastered the Sabbath. He kept it holy. So he said, look, man, I'm not going off. See, I'm not going off. I'm not going off. And he never went off, Yahusha. He kept the commandments. There was a need. All right. Just like was there's a need for, for, for King David to end up eating the showbread, which is only for the, for, the, for, the, for the Levites only. He and his men end, end up eating that bread. So what need is there for you to be having sex in the fucking pl first place for you to try and justify having sex on the, on, the, on the Sabbath? That's you doing your own pleasure. That's you doing your own goddamn fucking pleasure, man. Hey, Jude. Especially Jude says very, very plainly, especially those of the circumcision whose mouths must be stopped. Damnable heresies. Damnable heresies. Anyway, all praise and glory be unto Yahweh. For setting up the apostles and elders. Man. Shalom again. Honor the Sabbath. Honor the Sabbath. We are rehearsing these righteous acts. And in the midst of us uh, rehearsing these righteous acts, do not try to come to to uh, to keep the laws according to your own pleasure. Uh, don't speak your own minds okay uh, to pertaining to the law, statute, and commandments of Yahweh Shmiosha. Shalom.